Hi, I'm Nadia Dunn. CCL TV are delighted to be here at the TFS Summit in Dubai. Joining me today is Rochelle from Expedoc. Rochelle, thank you so much for being here. How are you doing? Thank you as well, Nadia. I'm doing great, actually. Um, we've had a lot of events and activities really going on for uh, last night. So, yeah, um, I'm still trying to keep my energy as high as yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what does it feel like compared to previous conferences? Like, can you feel that, that energy that it's the first one back since COVID? There is that energy. Um, it's, it almost feels like... Um, People were longing for each other to, to see each other, get connected. Uh, what, what's, what's been the update? Um, what have you been? Um, what have you changed? And, you know, um, how, how can we resume things? How can we try to give uh, some sense of normalcy back for, for, for our businesses? Well, I want to go into that with you in more detail. But first of all, can you tell us a bit about Expedoc and, and your role there and your background? Yeah, so I'm the Vice President for Customer Success in Expedoc. And what we do is we're an AI automation software. I know there's a lot of words <laughs> placed in there. Um, but what we really help uh, our partners of uh, freight forwarders, 3PLs and 4PLs with is we remove the manual work that they do in shipment processing, um, payables auditing, so that they can focus on higher leverage work, work that gets the goods moving and mm -hmm. takes care of their clients. Wow. And you did a, a, a talk, a presentation, right, yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. How did that go? Um, the only thing that did not go well was the tech problem, but everything else, I think, um, I, I, I really loved how uh, the crowd was receptive over the development of uh, freight technology, since um, part of the insights that we really wanted to impart to everyone was that uh, the forms of automation before are really changing these mm -hmm. days. It's easier for middle-sized uh, players to adapt better technologies that are normally being invested thousands and thousands of dollars by the bigger players. Mm -hmm. um, so family-run businesses can now take advantage of automation options, mm -hmm. these technologies, without really breaking the bank or building their own IT teams to run it. It's in the market and, you know, they can have these options for themselves. And has that market changed since COVID? Like, how has that affected you? It did. Um, the thing is that when, they, when we talk about technology, people usually think that it would lead to downsizing, mm -hmm. people getting fired. But you see, with the great resignation happening, a lot of companies are actually finding it difficult to fill in positions above minimum wage mm -hmm. just to get their goods moving or someone to take care of their shipment. It's not going to lead into uh, really firing people, but it's going to help solve the problem in uh, missing scale of, uh, scalability plans. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, if someone wants to um, help grow your demand by like 2x, 3x in the course of pandemic, mm -hmm. in the course of the pandemic, you won't be able to get someone to fill in the job by next week. But that job can get, you know, it can disappear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and if you don't have someone doing the operations work for you, that's, that's, that's going to be like a lot of business missed, right? So that's one of the things that we were able to probably uh, see changing. More people who are uh, receptive to, to these technological changes. And they're seeing like how disruptions mm -hmm. can, uh, can lead to... Um, be, be failing up their businesses um, uh, contingency plans because no one expected the mm -hmm. pandemic, right? <laughs> yeah, and then, but what does the future look like? Like how, how is that, is, how's it gonna change? Yeah, I think that people will start to work smarter. Um, people these days prefer to work remotely, right? Yeah. Being with their families, being in safer environments. But at the same time, use more tools to make sure that um, work is redefined, mm -hmm. that we're, uh, we're doing things that actually matter in moving the goods, making mm -hmm. sure that vaccines reach on time, that you get your shipments cleared because um, someone in the other part of the world is really waiting for it to, to, to be in there. Mm -hmm. Although you really need humans to get that uh, service going, um, you can remove the non-essential services of administrative yeah. work and get it done faster. And Rochelle, what are your thoughts about CCL TV being here at the conference? I think it's great. Um, it, it's not usual that we get to find um, avenues wherein members of communities get to um, 
have a have an avenue to speak out, mm -hmm. uh, voice out what they think about the industry, or even um, uh, give give some thoughts about uh, the the events and activities that are happening. Having that avenue is is really great because it it also helps us like get to know more about what's happening around us that we can't capture in the one on ones that we are doing. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah, trying to bring everyone together, really, isn't it? And yeah, thank you so much for being here. It's really lovely to see you face to face. And yeah, hopefully we'll see you at the next one. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully.